So it's a good question. So stem cell treatments uh, come in a couple of different forms. So there's stem cell transplants, uh, which can be uh, stem cells that are given to you either by your, yourself or by a different person who's not related to you. Um, those are called either autologous stem cell transplants when they're given from your own stem cells or an allergenic stem cell transplant if it's somebody else who's giving you stem cells. Those are called stem cell transplants. There is some suggestion of benefit in patients with systemic sclerosis or scleroderma. Uh, it's a relatively small group of patients that has benefit or potential benefit from that approach. Uh, there is no proven benefit of stem cell transplants in any other population. In addition, there's what's called stem cell therapy. Uh, that's when stem cells are taken often from your abdominal fat uh, or somewhere else in the body uh, and given back to you uh, without um, all the other parts that go along with the stem cell transplant. So these so-called stem cell therapies have no proven role in any type of pulmonary fibrosis. Okay, and last question. Who are most likely candidates for stem cell treatment? So I would say, again, to distinguish stem cell transplant uh, is a potential option for selected patients with systemic sclerosis and associated interstitial lung disease. Uh, stem cell treatments, uh, when it's not formally a transplant, is not a viable option for patients with pulmonary fibrosis of any kind.